When we're treating mycotoxin illness, there are a few central tenets of treatment. There are pillars of mold treatment that must be covered in order to be comprehensive. It's not just about taking a binder and calling it good. So when we're treating mold, we have to support the detoxification processes of the body. And that in includes supporting phase two liver detoxification. And so there are specific ways and favorites, in, um, supplements and nutrients that we can use in order to do that. The next thing we need to do is provide antifungals. We have to try and kill off some of the mold spores. And that can be done with some natural agents and it can be done with some prescriptive agents. So I'm gonna go over those with you. Um, we then also do have to give binders. So binders are a really important part of mold treatment. There are several different kinds of binders. And um, again, I'll share my favorites and I'll share which ones I use in which scenarios. Um, once again, some are natural, some are uh, pharmaceutical, um, some are more gentle, some are more aggressive, but binders are really an important part. And then the other thing we have to address is colonization of mold, both in the sinuses and in the gut. So a lot of people have like sinus issues, congestion, and of course that can be part of mold allergy, which is, as I've described pre in a previous video, that's different to mold toxicity. But if someone has high levels of mold toxins, they may well have mold in their nasal cavity, in their sinuses. And we can test that to some extent with a nasal swab through Microbiology DX. Um, but I have found that these days, especially if someone has sinus symptoms and brain symptoms as well, clearing mold, killing off mold toxins and spores in the sinuses is a big part. So stay, stay tuned for my four part series on the central pillars of mold toxicity treatment.